to Camper Van Kevin here and today I am at the RV base camp and we're going to be putting in a uh, dog pen for the wolf pack and uh, Foxy Lady. Me and Felix we've been trying to figure out where and how to do this. Uh, now the wolf pack they're potty trained to do real good but we're starting to have some accidents even though I take them out every two three hours uh, they, they need a place to get down on the grass themselves so they can go potty when they need to and uh, if Felix uh, gets a job here in town he needs a place where he can leave Foxy Lady where she'll be safe and where she can get out to potty so my idea was this the support building wash house right here um, in the tiny house I'm going to use the tiny house wall and the support building wall as two parts of my fence. I'm going to take the expanded metal, not expanded metal, but the metal, I've got some extra pieces, and I'm going to run that to the ground there, and under the tiny house I'm going to run that to the ground, and then I'm going to make the fence come out to here and attach to the support building there. But this is a fairly large project, so I'm going to get going on it. I got a couple more holes to dig. I got to figure out how I'm going to uh, span the space between the building and the, the wash house. I guess I'll have to dig two more holes there. But it's all coming together. So doing it this way, I only had to dig four holes. I'm going to. This railing is going to be somewhere between 36 and 40 inches high. So I'm going to scab onto that four by four post corner. Got a new post going in there, new post going in there. Then I'm going to scab on to the corner there beside the water spigot. And then I've got two 4x4 posts that's going to go in there. I use this piece of trim to, as a mark to show me. So two 4x4 posts here, and this will be 36, 40 inches high here. But, uh, I did a job for a lady a couple months ago and she had a bunch of uh, 4x4 posts laying around the back of her house. I said, what are you going to do with those? And she says, I don't know. I don't really need them. I said, well, I could use them. I, uh, you, you never know what you're going to pick up on a job. In fact, uh, about 20 years ago, I built a house that way. That's when there was a lot of new construction and stuff going on. And uh, every time I went and worked on a job site, I picked up concrete block, two befores, insulation, and had a good place to store it. And after several years of doing that, gosh, I had almost enough material to build my house. I now uh, I rent that house out as part of my income, but it's a two-story house with a full basement and a 28 by 35 garage. And uh, most of the material uh, I was able to uh, scavenge. It, it was new. It was just left over from jobs. They didn't need it, and the builders were building so many houses that, uh, gosh, they had they had more lumber than what they needed to do with anyway. So they just threw it away in the dumpsters. I couldn't believe it. So I had a trailer, and every time there was a two by four on the ground or in the dumpster, I've got it. And when I say dumpster, it wasn't filled full of food. It was full of uh, building supplies. So I just I'm not a wasteful person. So doing that and doing stuff like that has allowed me to build stuff like this. All right, well that's one post in. What I did, I used a string light here. to Get the post in line with those others down there. And I uh, dug it down and Felix hold it, held it while I put some uh, sack creep around the base, packed it in and then I uh, put some dirt on top. So that's one post down. Now we're on to the last two posts here. And instead of putting the regular fence here, me and Felix were talking about maybe just putting a whole privacy fence right here to block out this view back here. But we're getting them set into sack creep and putting a level on it. Felix is holding the pole up square, the post up square, and then I'm packing in the base with this. Then I put water on it. So and, I, and we work with uh, Crocs? Yeah, we work with Crocs. We, we don't need steel toes. Yeah. That's for wusses. Yeah. We got big toes and we got more than 10, so. Yeah, I got some corns on there that help me out. And now I'm taking this metal here and filling in the bottom here. That'll keep me from having to add wire. 
And then I think below the tiny house here, I'm going to use two by tens. Use two ten, two by tens by 12 by 14 under here. Day two. So instead of measuring each one of these, come up with the idea of put a two inch block in between each one. And even though two inches is pretty narrow for the fence, it's the distance I've got in the doggy jail to keep the dogs from getting out. So cheaper than buying wire. So we're, we're spacing these at two inches and the babies, the wolf pack can't get through this. Putting up the final touches. And I believe this does look good. All right. Well, me and Felix, we worked on this uh, RV base camp dog pen. I guess we've got about three days in it now. And been working on it when I come home after work. And uh, today we just took the day off and and, and got it ready. Uh, Felix, uh, chances are pretty good he's going to be working here and needs a place to put Foxy during the day. So it's kind of paramount we got this done as quick as we could. So let me show it to you. And there's Tucker. Hey, buddy. What we ended up doing is joining basically the tiny house with the support building. And I put a six foot wall there between the two buildings and then tried to match the deck here. Ended up filling the bottom metal under this building and to put the same metal under this building here I need to add one piece of trim across the top of it. You see the little uh, marks here. Over 15 years, lawnmowers have thrown rocks at it, so that's duct tape and painted white. It's about all you can do to vinyl. But in person, you hardly can see it. It may show up on camera. Put some little steps here for the, uh, the babies to get in and out easier. Tucker, what do you think? You like your new pen? Yeah. So now, everybody can come out here and potty and I don't have to open up the gate and take them out over here. I see you May May. What are you doing? What are you doing baby May May? I see that baby. And also I copied the on the uh, doggy gel inside the enclosed trailer and put two inches here and uh, this way I saved them I didn't have to buy the wire. So these are screwed in nice and tight with T22 screws. I ended screws. up just uh, the 4x4 posts were used, but everything else ended up being new. We're almost done here. We've got an angle right here we've got to figure out and uh, finish this handrail. I just wanted to shoot this before it got too dark. So I cut the 4x4 post here, and it's uh, just wide enough for me to walk through easily. That way I didn't have to change anything here on the deck. This cover here covers my uh, sewer clean out. I just keep that over it, well, basically so I wouldn't pull across it with a tire. So uh, I guess I can change that out now. Not sure if I'm gonna leave the bush here or not. I think I'm gonna put a thermometer over here. Oh, and let me show you uh, a neat little thing that I found here. Yeah, Mr. Vanna White here is gonna uh, 
show the new uh, clothes line at the RV base camp. $15 at Lowe's. Beautiful job there, Mr. Vanna, I mean, Mr. Felix. In the house. Yep. And gorgeous, gorgeous. Now I don't have to hang my yellow shirts inside to dry. Show them how we tighten the... Uh, Felix said they had these. They use these a lot in uh, Puerto Rico, and I've seen them online, but uh, never buy one. So we have a clothesline, and that pulls it nice and tight. Gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> so. Uh, no more, uh, no more running the dryer for us. We'll save that money. Uh, in my quest to unplug from power and go to 12 volt, uh, little things like this are important. But I, uh, I couldn't have done it without Felix's help. Uh, he, uh, well, he, he probably did more than I did out here. But uh, we got it all put together and figured out. And he's making faces behind me, isn't he? He is. No. He is. <laughs> But uh, I hope you enjoyed our little video. Um, going to get this wrapped out and put it online tonight. And we're headed to the North Georgia Mountains to spend a couple days at the river. Woo. So anyway, you guys take care. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up down here below. If you're not subscribed to us, uh, uh, here's a link right here. And subscribe to our channel. Uh, also, you can find us on Camper Van Kevin on Facebook. Okay, guys. You take right. care. Peace. Bye-bye.